Welcome back to the Exponential Files, hosted by Jim Lowenstern, the CEO of Castles Unlimited Team, brokered by EXP. You are in the right place if you're looking for a way to make more money, retire in five years with no financial worries, and be on the front edge of the real estate industry that's changing. You do not want to be the blockbuster in the Netflix world. You do not want to be Walmart when Amazon comes to town. You don't want to be trying to create a real estate business using yesterday's tools and techniques. Welcome to my early retirement party. Over the next couple of months, Jim and I right here on the show are going to share with you all you need to know to create your own path to success or retirement. I actually want both. I want a way to move beyond generating income only through my closed sales. This is old school, and no matter what, it is still tied to my own production, and it does not put me on the path of income in any other way. Keller Williams had a good idea with their profit share program when they incentivized their agents to recruit people into the cult. Sadly, profit share is determined by the individual franchises and not by the uh, production of the individual. That's called revenue share. EXP took that concept designed to growth wealth for the not to grow wealth for the franchise owner while giving a little way to the agent and turned it on its head. It is revenue share in the EXP model. That's top line money. This is your top line money and it's the value is transparent. Sharing that top line revenue is the first and only time the real estate industry went further than saying the agent is important by making the agent know they are the lifeblood of the industry by rewarding them for such. This is just one method that EXP is light years beyond what the old, slower moving, less agent-centric companies are doing. There's more. One person who understands this and has written and published a couple of books on the subject is our host here, Jim Lowenstern. Jim, I understand your second book, Your Million Dollar Month, is about to hit the stores. Or are you planning to hold this off as a benefit for those savvy and curious agents who get in touch with us for a copy so they can understand this shift right now and not get left in their blockbuster business, Pounding Sand? No debating it. Um, we're, uh, first of all, it's the million dollar, excuse me, your million dollar a month in real estate. My first book was Your Million Dollar Year in Real Estate. And I always thought that the next book would be Your Billion Dollar Year in Real Estate until it became apparent that there were people at EXP and actually people in our group that were earning over a million dollars a month passively. And then I wasn't even really ready to write a book, but after just a few months, uh, it, it just poured out of me. Uh, I was compelled to write the book because educating people, everyone wants all the information in five minutes. It's more than five minutes. There's so many different ways to make money with the EXP model. And I don't even look at EXP like, oh, I work for EXP. It's EXP is a platform. It's a foundation for your real estate business. I don't care if you have a thousand people on your team or 20 offices, or you're just one agent that wants to grow. Um, this model works for everybody. It, it does work for everybody. And, and um, just so go ahead, you had more. I, I, I just remembered, I didn't answer your question because you did actually ask the question. And uh, the answer to the question is, I am not sure. I'm, I'm I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm weighing the pros and the cons. Um, one is, uh, of course, we want everyone to use us as their sponsors when they, uh, when they come to EXP, and, and they should. Uh, I think most EXP uh, agents, if you ask them, uh, I'm going to go to EXP and I'm, I want to choose a sponsor, give me a reason why I should use you, they say, well, I'm a nice guy and I'll pick up your calls. Uh, we, we have 
about 20 real tangible, you know, whether it's coaching or equity or trademarks or, you know, just a whole bunch of things. And, and then you have EXP. So EXP is the platform, Castles Unlimited or Castles or Castles Commercial are the uh, companies that are working on top of it with equity and, and dividends. And uh, actually those companies are gonna be um, propelled by EXP revenue. It's gonna be uh, money coming from EXP, which is a publicly traded company. So, you know, EXP stock, EXP stock has dividends. Um, there's just so many ways to make money. Oh, and caps, you know, low, low cap, high splits, I can go on. And, and we will. Uh, it's going to be a half an hour show. Let me recap where we are. Old school, you close, you get a commission. That's your pay. Then you have to go out and get another closing and, or a listing or a sale. That's it with the old school. With this, you get top line revenue from um, and with every commission. Um, you also get um, uh, stock, the ability to buy stock at a reduced rate. You can go and sell that stock the next day, make that 10% profit, or you can be smart and, and save it for longer. You can also bring people in to help them understand that they can make more money that they don't have to depend specifically on their uh, commissions forever and ever, that they can talk to other people and provide them the understanding that there isn't a better business model out there. And if what you want to do is be in control of your own business, not have to be uh, paying a franchise every single month for uh, this and that, um, it's so much better. Just absolutely so much better. Yeah, I, I, I think that, um, well, let me, let, me, let me talk about the numbers that hit this week because it's being reflected uh, somewhat. Um, so there is an argument going on between Inman and uh, maybe Inman's got a piece of the action there. Maybe he has Compass stock or something. I don't know. But he, he said Compass is now on top of Realogy. Um, I saw and that. And and RIS Media. Is it RIS or is it RIS RIS. or is it RIS? RIS. 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 RIS yeah. Media? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say it right. RIS Media um, is number one. Uh, but my, on my list, it's Realogy. Um, and they had um, $246 billion in sales volume. Number two was Home Services of America which is a whole bunch of, it's Long and Foster, it's uh, uh, Ebby, what's her name in Texas? Ebby, Ebby, Ebby Holiday. Holiday. Ebby, yeah. yeah. And then Dina in Wisconsin, all those names together was 198 billion. And number three, with a bullet, EXP, 132 billion. So that's, that's pretty interesting because number four is Douglas Elliman, and they're only 51 billion. That's and a big Howard drop Hanna's off. A big drop off. It's almost like a third less. And then Howard Hanna, number five, they're like uh, Ohio over to like uh, Western New York and stuff, 36 billion. So that's that's a, Another. a, a big difference. That know. is a big difference. Um, uh, I don't know in, how in much- In fairness to them or to talk about how EXP is growing, EXP is now in 22 countries. They just opened up Greece last week. So that's, um, that's pretty incredible. Well, what's wonderful to me and makes me smile uh, because I'm a producing agent is that of all those billions of dollars, half of what EXP is saying there is going back to the agents, is going back into the company. Well, that's not actual revenue. That's, that's transaction count. Oh, transaction it, 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 count. Yeah, okay. it's not uh, so. Yeah, um, so okay, their cash I receipts. Yeah, their cash receipts last year was about three point nine billion, which which is still quite 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 good. So out of those listed right there, the only company that did a double this year, they went up one hundred and sixteen percent, was EXP. Yeah, 
And yeah. no one on that list even hit 50% increase. I think right. uh, Realogy was like 40. Right. Well, so, a lot of them, a lot of them want to call themselves tech companies, but they don't connect everything like they do in the in in the EXP thing. KV Core, the top lead generating uh, website, both for real estate agents and insurance people who do this kind of work that we do, uh, where we have to generate leads. Um, that's what they use, the KV Core. If you get that by itself, it's over three hundred and forty th- uh, bucks a month. You get um, uh, electronic signatures. So if you use DocuSign or anything, you're paying for that. Um, uh, there's other lead generating uh, things that you can actually purchase that are more. But for all of this, including the financial transaction uh, uh, software that allows you to get paid at, ne- at and near the closing, um, that's all part of what you're given. And you're given this great website. And your fee for that is $85, not what I was paying before was over 500. It's, it's absurd. It's absurd how so much better. And I think that's why I didn't move for so long because I just couldn't believe it. There's so much uh, puffery in our business. that. Well, the $85, I think if it was just for the business model with the rev share, I mean, let's, let's face it. Um, the opportunity there does not exist really with any other company to, and all the business that you were describing before, list a house, work with a buyer, rent a house, whatever, that's all linear link income. As soon as you stop working, linear income just shuts off. So the real estate industry has never really been built with, uh, with retirement in mind. It's like, uh, when was, what was the joke? When was the last uh, retirement party you went to for a realtor? You've never gone to one. It, it just doesn't exist. Now we can actually have those parties because there is now this system and a lot of brokers still haven't gotten it yet. I would, I would you know, because I've known about eXp now for 10 some you know, years now uh, that everyone would know. Spoke to a broker today. My, my first question always is, to, what do you know about eXp? And I, I'm really astonished that almost 100% of the agents out there know nothing about the company. Now, they're growing at about 1,000 agents a week now, 77,000 plus uh, at last count, and probably be 100,000 by the end of this year. And there's still agents that don't know anything about it. So I, I, I kind of make the analogy of a dam. And right now the dam is intact and all you need is a few cracks and uh, the dam will burst. And, and, and what's on the other side of that dam? It's not water, it's Kel Williams agents that already know a little bit about seven levels of, of share. There's his profit, ours is revenue. Uh, all those compass agents, that have stock. I mean, their stock went up a little bit this year because it went down so much last year and they were all getting paid in stock. So that's why, and and they're in those contracts too. But none of those people have caps. That's the first question I ask all these agents. And they all say, no, like like it's not an important thing. But once they start- Keller and Remax have caps. Keller, Remax, Century Twenty One—they all have—they all have caps. I would say Century Twenty One is. <clears throat> I'm sure there's aggressive. Everybody's out there, They're, but Compass is a singular company. Uh, right. may, maybe there's a Caldwell Banker franchisee out there. I don't think Realogy uh, has uh, has caps, um, and um, I, I really n- don't don't think they have any kind of revenue share. There are little companies now, because I talk to so many agents that are trying to emulate EXP. And there's um, one, they actually called me this week and they're, they're trying to go up against EXP that are, they're gonna get agents from EXP and you know, blah, 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 blah. But they've got about 4,000 agents in 42 states and they're not outside this country and their stock's about two bucks a share. So 
you know, it's it's just kind of the momentum, you know, which 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 vehicle you are you going to be riding? The one Where? that's already traveling the speed of sound, or the one that's trying to gain footing? I, I think speed of light is better than speed of sound because. Uh, I, okay, speed of speed. Okay, let's go with the speed of <laughs> speed of light then. Sorry. Anyway, I, I just uh, I have sat uh, through uh, shows like this and and sit there and think, okay, give me something, give me something that I can take away right now. And okay. I think I'll give you a little something. Okay. The genius of Glenn Sanford's revenue share model is what has driven this company so quickly to so many yeah. agents. Yeah. What happens is on the first level, they want you to get to 40 recruited agents, qualified agents, agents that are actually doing some transactions all the time. And that's fine. That's the way it should be. You just don't want to recruit people that are going to just recruit people and no one is selling real estate. Although there are people that are using this system, they have licenses and they may have been in coaching or they may actually want to be just retired and not be running around selling real estate that are making a fortune off of just being chosen as someone's sponsor to be a recruiter. And that's fine. But on that second level, you get a fractional percentage and the incentive is to get five qualified people on your top line. When you do that, when you've recruited five producing agents, you go 20X on that second line. So you go from 0.2 to 4%, which is pretty cool because you look at your dashboard and one month you've got four agents and you made X on your month. The next month you recruited one more person and that second level goes up 20x that's what lights a fire under people they go whoa look at this on the second level what does it take now my second level people to recruit more people you have to spend a little time with them and encourage them hey are you making any calls by the way you meet agents all the time do you mention exp once my book comes out I'm going to make sure that every one of my downline gets books. And I want to know into whose hands those books go. I want to make sure they're reading the book. And if they're not reading the book, let's just educate them about what's in the book so that they'll hand the book to somebody else once they're on our team. You know what we could do, Jim? We could, we could take a chapter a week and discuss what's in each chapter. So at the end of, uh, how many chapters are 20 something chapters? And, it, and it's growing because <clears throat> yeah. there's not a day that goes by that I don't come up with a new So new let, let's do mind. something like that. We'll, we'll open up the book and we'll, we'll be talking about the, I have read uh, a good bit of it, but I know you're still uh, changing things. So um, well, I talk to you about this website that this um, podcast is on. And right now, our uh, web designer is adding links so that somebody, let's say from California is looking for a sponsor and they choose us as their sponsor. Now there's a link on the exponential files for home searches in California. That person who signed up with us is gonna get clicks through this website to their web page for their search. And hopefully we're gonna be sending them customers because as this podcast grows and as more information about EXP and our team and Castles Unlimited and, and the white paper all get put on this site, they're gonna, there's gonna be more traffic. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the beauty of, of anywhere coming out of Boston is there's a lot of great colleges and a lot of great businesses, tech business, banking business, insurance business, and all those people move to other parts of the country and they come here. So we have people from Northern and Southern California, we have people from uh, Seattle and from Portland and, and from uh, uh, any of the sane people that want to get out of Texas and Austin and come back, come back uh, and uh, uh, enjoy the cold weather. 
Um, we already have uh, Florida and uh, and Georgia in our downline, and and we we just started, so we're 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 expanding. One of the uh, um, surprising aspects of uh, this to me, now that I've been an EXP agent for a while, was the difference between how helpful people are. I went through a number of different franchises, so like everyone does. I was at Remax, I was at Exit, I was at Keller Williams for a good long while. Um, I joined you at Castles Unlimited. Uh, uh, you weren't really a franchise, but now we're we're here. And you would go to people in your office or people around you would ask them a question. They were always a bit cagey about you know how much you knew because it's a competitive business. We all own our own businesses. That is not true in the meta world of EXP because each person that's in that meta world, each EXP agent, their vested interest is helping us get a vested interest, helping us to close some business because they are in a way um, also benefiting from that. So it's a whole different kind of like camaraderie and you're not talking to the person next door. There's competition too. I mean, it's it's not it's 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 not all, you know, one way. But what you're suggesting is so many agents that work for the company. Now we're talking seventy-seven thousand. Um, they they have locked up stock that is going to be funding their livelihood or their retirements. And they want that stock to go up in value, and the the more the company grows and the more profitable it is, productive it is, that's going to yeah. reflect in the stock. Yeah. I mean, today the stock is making a uh, fifty-two week low, um, but that only means that it's probably one of the best investments yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, right, right now. But uh, when we started this, if you can stomach it. When we when we started this, uh, well, Warren Buffett said, "Stop looking at the ups and downs." You know, he said, D "Don't check it every day." But I know that people who have stock, it's like you can't buy a horse, you know, and and watch it and not watch it run. Uh, bet on a horse. So I mentioned the white paper, uh, but I didn't get into it. I was hoping you would ask me a question about it so we could talk about it. Um, we got a few minutes. Uh, do you have a question that you can ask me? So. I Again. Well, uh, 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 personally, the, both the white paper, the, the white paper is more like an MBA drilling down of what uh, what is actually going on within the Castles Unlimited team and what you can expect. And the book is more of a narrative of, of that. And uh, I'm like so many other people, I'd rather watch it than read it. Watching now, so you, you still didn't ask me any questions. So I'll I'll, I'll ask myself a question. Oh, uh, so, so Jim, <laughs> what's this white paper you're talking about? Oh, um, I'm so glad you asked. Um, so uh, Castles Unlimited is a federal federally registered trademark. 100% plus is a federally registered trademark. Castles, just that singular word that we've used on many a uh, beautiful sign in front of luxury homes is a federally registered tr uh, trademark. Castle's commercial, just a trademark, but no less beautiful as, as a logo. And, uh, and then we have our actual team and we have physical offices and websites and, and you know traffic on websites and all this stuff. So uh, a business uh, that's 36 years old and I was always looking for a way to build that company internationally. Uh, we have international databases for luxury real estate and things like that. Uh, now the agents can share. I'm taking my revenue share from EXP, taking a third of it, it's going into a corporation. I'm giving out shares of stock in the corporation to the agents. But not only that, that's one more reason why they would pick me as a sponsor, but you, Larry, you'd pick me as a sponsor. Uh, you get shares of stock, but anybody that chooses you, Larry, gets shares of stock. I'm making 
as many shares as possible available and uh, either dividends will be paid out or we're going to use that money to expand our marketing. Uh, this podcast, for example, is marketing. These websites that we're talking about, the links, all the stuff that's going to propel either revenue from revenue share, agent attraction to the agents or buyers and sellers and renters um, to their websites. That's all part of this also. So we're, we're funding the future of the Castle's Unlimited brand. But for example, Larry, you use your, um, your stories, right? Yeah, I have that's a brand fine. of your stories, Realty Group. That, that's fine too. So you're, you're associated with Castle's Unlimited, but you wanna use your own branding you're not going to be treated any differently than anyone else, at least at this point. I mean, I would say someday in the future when we get X number of agents in this downline, in this on this team, and we start forming a board of directors and they start saying, hey, you know, as, as great as it is that we have all of our own names and we, and we can puff up our egos, maybe we're going to make more money if we focus on a singular name or maybe give people incentives in the future to use castles on, who knows? I, I don't know. I'm just uh, saying that things can change in the future. This is just, just the beginning. I still but have right the, now. I yeah, still have the right castle, now, castles bug on, on, on all of my marketing as well. You know, so. Yeah, so uh, it, it'll only take a, a little bit of time and then the word will get out. And when I was talking about that, that water behind the dam of the KW and Compass agents. And you know, it only takes a few. Agents follow their friends. Oh, Joe, why, why, why did you go to EXP? Castles Unlimited, why did you go to Castle? Well, you know what? I just did the math. I was gonna do X number of sales this year anyway. I just made an extra $100,000. Yeah. How did you do that? Well, first of all, they capped me at 16,000. Right. You know, so everything after that, I'm getting 100% plus 20, 250 bucks. And at a certain point, it's only $75 a sale, a transaction. Um, and then I got to a point they gave me $8,000 of stock for free. And then I did a couple of other things and I got the other 8,000 back as well. Yeah. I got all 16,000 back in stock. Yeah, I'll have to be there for a few years to actually get, you know, get it out. You get know, it's locked up. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's, it's in lock mode, whatever. Well, that's just but, standard, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll almost guarantee anybody that got stock today is going to be very happy in three years that they got it today. Right. You know, if you average it over time, this stock has been... It's been volatile, but then again, it's been volatile in a very, is it this way? Moving yeah. up way. Yeah. yeah. The bell curve. Hockey stick. The it hockey down, stick. But it'll go up again. It, exactly. It pays well, a dividend. Well, uh, you've been with us for a little over 30 minutes now. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, come back next week. We're going to have a whole lot more good information for you. Thanks for watching the Exponential Miles. Thank you. See you soon. See you soon. Happy Friday.